This is Luhansk in Ukraine. These are all Russian flags dressed along Ukrainian streets and squares in territories Russia wishes to annex. Regional leaders have turned to the Russian president to accept these territories into the Russian Federation. After completing its so-called referendums, Moscow imposed authorities declared that Zaporizhia, Donetsk, Luhansk and Kherson all voted to join the Federation. Moscow's Red Square has been cleared for what's believed to be a celebration for the alleged annexations. The Duma will meet on Monday to analyze the requests of the occupied territories. However, Ukraine has pledged that it will continue to fight to liberate the occupied territories. And according to some analysts, that puts the Russian president on the spot. The major threat for President Vladimir Putin after these referendums is that he's driven away from Lyman. Then the same patriotic society will take the pacifier out of their mouths and will blame Putin for not being able to protect already Russian territories. That's why I think Putin will hesitate over whether it's worth rushing to announce these territories as part of Russia. This is a tried and done political move by Russia. Sham referendums were held in Georgia and in Crimea. And just as it was in 2008 and 2014, the overwhelming majority of the international community flatly rejects the legitimacy of the referendums and defends Ukraine's territorial integrity. The EU on Wednesday imposed new economic sanctions, including a cap on the price of Russian oil.